Hello everyone. Welcome to My Little Lamb's Nursery. I'm Yolanda and um I want to come on and do a changing video of my uh um full body silicone um Natalia. She is a Claire Taylor um full body silicone. Uh she has um a, a tongue of a uvula a um um a tongue you will uh she doesn't have a drink away um and she is adorable so she's been in this outfit for a while i just wanted to come in and um check in with you guys i try to i'm trying to stay consistent um i wanted to um change her into this um Snitted um, outfit because it's starting to get really really cold So I want to change her in this little outfit right here So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys um, On this tripod and um, Pray that it works out <laughs> According to plan because I am in the market of looking for another tripod and um, I just need to find which one that I really, really, really want. So, um, yeah, that's what I want. This is what the video is about today. And just want to show you guys some more. Try to show them my nursery a little more each time. And uh, this is my, my little changing nook. And I put the magnetic pacifiers on there. So this is what I was trying to tell you guys. You can put Find those, uh, a little something that you hang on a nail, little tiny nails, and you can put your magnetic pacifiers on there, and other little knickknacks that you, you know, that you can, um, place that is really quick when you're doing videos or whatever and whatnot. And, um, they're really handy than digging for a, um, you know, pacifier for a reborn doll. And this is my new baby. This is the Noah Awake Alfie by Anne Huang. He's my newest addition doll. Um, he's got all the bells and whistles. I love him. He is the sweetest baby, you guys. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to be changing him next time. And pretty soon I will be having my, um, my new baby pretty soon. My new Claire Taylor silicone doll so that is this the uh the title of my video of today's video what do you look for when um getting your first silicone doll what are, what are the must-haves for you when purchasing a silicone doll or are you or, or if you're not as if you're or if you're not into silicones what do you look for in purchasing a reborn vinyl doll, do you do you just buy? Um, do you just look for high end artists? Do you just buy prototypes, or do you buy anything that catches our eyes or that draws at your heart? You know, just pulls at your heartstrings. You know, some you know some look for certain. Some people look for certain artists. Some people look for certain kits by certain artists. The high-end artists, the high-end kits that normally sell out really, really fast because um, collectors um, as as well as, um, you know, we do have our favorites. So um, we do have our favorites. So that's what I wanted to know. That's the, um, the title, um, the must-haves when purchasing a silicone reborn vinyl um, dolls. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to put this. On my tripod, you guys just bear with me. Yep. Let's see if I can okay. 
Yeah, so this right here, who you see is, this is my Natalia. She's a full body clear, clear tether silicone doll. And um, I like to come on and change her into a knitted outfit today. And um, I wanted you guys to join me. And um, if you're new, please go ahead, um, if you can, and hit the like and subscribe um, and the notification bell so that you're re reminded whenever a new video drops. And um, and also, I ha I'm, when I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway for a 0 to 3 um, male baby or a zero to three female baby, whatever the um the winner shall cho should choose. Um I do have a video up of those um items that um I will be giving away when I reach one thousand subscribers. So please um um like and subscribe um if you would like and share my videos with your friends and family. That would be awesome. I will I really appreciate um my loyal subscribers that I have already um, I love all the comments. If you're new, please, if you like the video, please leave a comment. Um, I do go and read them. I, um, and, um, I ask that you, um, you know, leave, leave something that if you want to see, what do you like to, um, to see, you know, do you like to see vinyl dolls more? Do you like vinyl dolls better? Or do you like silicone dolls better? Because I do have both. And then I have other, um, dolls that, um, in my, um, nursery that um that i like to share as well so if you like to show this just go to my playlist and um check those other dolls out and um if you are a claire tater collectors i do have a facebook page that you can find me on and join my group and you can find me at um claire taters collectors club on facebook and um go ahead and answer the three questions and um you're in it's easy as pie. And I also have a Oga Hour um page on Facebook. You can find find me at Oga Hour Baby Boomer. So if you have an Oga Hour doll that you would like to share, please go on my my Facebook page and we would love to have you. And that is once again that's um um Oga Hour Baby Boomers on Facebook. And I am Yolanda, your hostess with the Moses. And um please um Stay tuned. Sometime I I be a little a, a little chatterbox, and sometime I do have long, extensive video content because I like to talk and I like to entertain my viewers. So um yeah so um let me like let me know what you like to see, and um I do I do uh, random hauls, um I do I am a collector of all things cute, um <laughs> not just one thing, um. Oh, and I did, I did get, um, I did get, uh, another doll in. I'm not sure if I showed this one, so I'm going to show it now. This is my LOL OMG doll, Queens. She's new. I love her. And she's sways. So I think she is adorable. So stinking cute. And she has 20 surprises. Unbox fashions. And play and style. And then. She has. Her. Her little look like mini me. So adorable. And she's new. And who else is new? I'm going to put these. Uh, dance, Dance, Dance is new. OMG Dance, Dance, Dance. I like her. She's cute. Haven't opened her yet. Miss Roy. And she's the Miss Royale. Um, 15. She has 15 surprises. And... There's other ones that, um, yeah, uh, Miss Royale. She's Miss Royale. And then, uh, what other one did I get? I think I got, I got sweets. 
sweet. I thought she is adorable. And she has 20 surprises as well. And then she has her little me, mini me, little angel. So I just want to show you guys those. And what other one did I get? I gotta put these away. I don't know if I showed this one already, but she's the Rainbow High Slumber. The Robin Sterling edition. It's a little glare, but I think she's adorable. She's beautiful. She got her sleeping slumber party sleeping bag. And her little outfit. So stinking cute. But yep. That's just some those are just some of the other dolls that I collect. And they were right here in the in the crib. So I just wanted to show you guys those. So let me go ahead and get in. Get in. Let me get in, get in, get in. So you guys get in, get in, get in. And tell your family, your friends to come get in, get in, get in. Grab your drink. Whatever you like. Whether it's your little margarita. Your little margarita in a little can. Your little club. Or whether it's your coffee or your tea. I prefer coffee. I, I prefer tea over coffee and alcohol. That's just me. I love herbal herbal thing so yes okay but um yep that's what i wanted to um do today so yes my my thing is um um when i when i go um in when i'm in the market of purchasing a, a silicone um doll or vinyl reborn i do i do look for well-known artists because i i look for quality um not too much as quantity because I get, um, I'm not into a lot of dolls, quote unquote. Um, I have um, only currently uh, nine dolls in my um, in my nursery currently that um, I'm trying to adopt out. Actually, four of them, so I can uh, I buy to I I um I sell to buy. So I'm trying to um, sell to bring home another Claire Taylor doll and so but during that process um if I should bring home that new doll what before anything sells um I absolutely I absolutely keep my doll to be just because um I do um love the doll itself and um <laughs> I um I prefer not to sell if I don't have to but it just helps and the with the finances um as to um having a hobby that's um really expensive you know and um i know some people would love these dogs i get you know comments that people would say they could never afford you know and it's 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 not affordable for everyone you know some people some people can get um, these, uh, uh, get these dolls straight from the artists themselves, you know, and pay the full sticker price, but I cannot do that. Um, a lot of times get acquiring these dolls. Um, it, it takes, um, it takes studying and, um, being at the right place at the right time. So that's what I was trying to, um, when I do come on, I, I do let you guys, um, know that, um, I do have pages you know, so that you can come in if you would like a silicone doll or um, um, by Claire Taylor and to come in on my page because people do um, sell older kits to get newer kits to bring home or they have, um, you know, a family um, emergencies or they just need the funds, you know, for whatever um, reason it may be. And um, and they sell, they sell out, sell off. Um, some of their dolls, some of their collections. Um, some leave the leave the community um, because certain reasons. Sometimes people get in different relationships, or um, you know, and their their mate doesn't approve, or um, 
or they just lose the interest. You just, they just lose interest. But um, I, um, you know, it sometimes it gets it, sometimes you can find yourself, you know, loving the doll and not um, and not interacting with the doll anymore, and um, and sell them off. And then there's there's also ones that come back you know, to the community. So whatever the case may be, um, um, people do come back that do sell off their um their silicone versus um, vinyl dolls. And um uh, because it is it it is um uh something that as artists and as collectors um it is something that draws your draws the eye. Collecting dolls that draws your eyes and, and things, um, inanimate objects that draw, you know, attention to you, you know, that catches your, you know, or something, or the doll could remind you of someone, could remind you of someone in your family, could remind you of your, your own child, you know, and a lot of times when, um, um, ladies, um, have a child that moves away from home, you know, becomes grown. And they move away from home and you miss you miss your child and you you have a tendency to go after dolls that look like your child and you and and sometimes you're not even aware of it sometimes a friend of or a family member will come over and they'll read they'll um um notice the child and bring it and bring in that that and say you know that child looks like so and such and then you'd be like, what? And then you'd be like, oh my God, they do. You may not even see it at the time and or realize and this a family member may um respond to the doll after they, you know, see the doll and then and then they and they tell you and then you'd be like, oh my God, you know, the the, the baby does. It absolutely does. You know, so sometimes it's it's just something that um you can relate to. Some of the, the um dolls you can relate to, or you see, you see, um, they they remind you of some um a baby you know or somebody in the in your baby or somebody in your in your family you know and sometimes it's it's just you know it's just because uh there's a there's a, a gratification of, of of um that you have with an inanimate object that um that places you know that no matter you know what the offer is that you um somebody offers you you don't want to sell because it it holds um sent it has a, like I guess you could have to say sentimental sentimental value to you you know in these inanimate anatomy objects and 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 it's okay it's a it's okay to have that it's okay to feel that way and um and we we a lot of us do that and um these are the bowl covers that I that I use um, I do have to put them with this back because I have to pull her sweater and this protects her hair. So, and when she has, um, she has mole hair and she's a biracial baby and, um, she, I need to, um, keep her hair moisturized. So today I wanted to put this, um, Rachel Zoe outfit on her. It's like a mustard color and it comes with the, um, the, the tights that was with it. And it has like ballerina, um, um, like a ballerina shoe on the bottom. Then it also comes with a hat. And this one is a zero to the, zero to three. She wears a zero to three. And so I want to go ahead and put this. Chose this one because it is so cold, you guys. And I, um, these silicone dolls have a tendency to get the gold. They're, they're, um, the silicone like skin has a tendency to go with the weather. Whatever the weather is, whatever the temperature their weather is, they they feel it. Their temperature their um silicone um adjusts to it and um it gets really cold. And you wanna protect these dolls, you know, the best you can because um they are an investment and they're very expensive. And um, they are in high demand. And I also want to um, bring out, um, you know, I, I guess because of the economy, because I do have a, 
I do sell doll, the dolls I have up for sale, you guys. They are uh, Makari. Um, I have a Ashby up for sale. I bought Ashby um, partial silicone up for sale. And I have um, a Laura Eagles. Laura Eagles Azalea up for sale. And I have um, a Jacqueline Gwen doll partial silicone up for sale. And then I have a Toby Morgan re vinyl reboard doll up for sale. Um, so if you guys go look me up on, on, um, Macari, um, they're priced, um, very affordable and, um, but I'm noticing that a lot of the artists are, um, I'm, I'm noticing the decline, also the decline of sales that's going on because if I'm having, you know, a lot of hard time selling because people are not, you know, kind of worried about their money right now and their finances because of what, you know. They start doing layoffs around this time of the year. And, um, you know, the government, you know, we don't know what they're doing. One, one minute they tell you one thing and then they don't follow, they don't follow suit. So, I don't know if the because of the decline, because I know a, a lot of the, um, the artists now, sculptors slash artists, oh, they have, they, they gave you a really nice hanger with this too. Very nice hanger. I love these. Um, that's a good one. That's why you want to collect. Yeah, I would like. I would collect. I would collect these just because that kind of hanger. I love these kind of hangers. They're um, they have like velvet on them, and then it has a cute bow. Yeah, I would definitely get another one. The outfit just because of, I like the outfit. They're really made well, and um, and the the um, hanger aspect. Because I like nice hangers. But, um, yeah, I'm noticing the decline because I do sell on, um, Macari. And it's not the, the sell, the people are, are inquiring, but they're really not buying right now. Even, you know, a lot of times people start shopping in the month of July. So I've been, I've been posting, you know, different things online, you know, since then, you know, because, but it's like really slow, you know. I speak to other doll collectors that have um, um, dolls up for sale in the community, and they're saying the same thing. It's really, really slow. The sales are really slow. You know, people people are really being smart about their, you know, their their money right now. You know, because it's um, it's it's really hard these days. Everything is expensive. You know, the gas is expensive. She got these little bitty feet. So, <laughs> gonna get these little feet since she's like really soft. But I'm trying to get her <sighs> tights up. So they won't be so far down. But, um, yeah, I was talking to one of my, my girlfriends from the dog community and she was saying the same thing. You know, and she puts up dolls on Doll Fan and um, re, uh, Reborns.com as well. And uh, for sales. And um, she's saying everything's slow. And she's been past doing this for the past two years, trying to sell dolls. And, I mean, um, her and her dolls are beautiful. It's just slow, really, really slow. And I've noticed, I'm also noticing that the, um, the artists are starting to... Um, the sculptors, or the slash artist slash sculptors, are are even starting to um they're feeling it too, in their um uh, you know, in their pocket because they're they're all offering um layaway, so this is the perfect time if you're looking to purchase a doll, you guys, and you feel you don't have the money, um they are um right up front they are offering layaway. Some are doing six months layaway some offering six months layaway some offering three months layaway so you know like i said don't don't um knock it until you try it you know because um they are they're trying to meet you guys halfway you know with the um with this um layaway program that they're offering layaway plan program so I think that's it. I think that's a beautiful thing, you know, because I, 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 I look for the layaway 
That's that's my go-to. Anybody that's off your layaway, that's my go-to. Because that gives me time to pay on other 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 things that I have to um, you know, pay for, you know, housing and lighting and, and if I could just put down, you know, put um pay a certain amount, you know, each month is is awesome for me. And um um as as um you know and it, it it does it um it helps me because I have I like to spend what the fuck am I? I like I like to um shop and um it's better that I um I do the layaway because um I might not never get the dog because I do like to shop <laughs> so I got I have to I have to do the layaway so that so that money gets sh shot out because I don't like to be obligated to nobody. So I like to get it get it real real quick and um pay it off. So I don't play. I I, I get it and and I try to get it before that time because I'm eight, I'm just as anxious as the next one. You know I got to have I got to have my eyes. It's exciting, you know. It's uh, it's you get you get uh, uh you know you get that that um excitement that thrill you get. You it's it's like you can't even you you, you can't even imagine you, you know when you first get your silicone baby you will know what I'm talking about because the the waiting the waiting for the baby the the whole process is is one thing and then getting the money to having the money and then that payoff oh my goodness when the baby is paid off you guys that is it's it's a beautiful thing when you when your baby paid off and you just waiting for it to come home. That is the process, and when the when and the when the completion is is com when when the completion is done the the is uh, this is the sky is the limit the baby is on the way and you and 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 some people like myself we nest you know, nesting is you 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 don't bought the baby all kind of stuff stuffed animals you don't buy the baby clothes you don't buy because you nest you nest like you was adopting like you were ado adopting a real baby seriously guys you you it'd it be like that it's like you just feel you just feel that way um that you're like you're adopting a real baby because let me tell you something sometimes people will have dolls up for sale and um not everybody lives in the united states and though there, there are certain certain people that put it out a search, you know, they'll put out um ISO to and you know, like on my on my Facebook page, ISO means um in search of. So they'll put in search of uh, ISO meaning in search of whatever doll they're looking for, right? And so they'll put the name of the doll and the kit. You know the artist or whatever, and um, if and, and inquire is if anybody is selling that particular doll. So I've had um, um, on my page, um, a, a woman that was looking, um, for one she had posted it on my page, and um, previously before this particular, um, mommy, that posted her doll for sale, she had inquired about. Um, a willow boy and um lo and behold one came up but and she was ecstatic the baby was beautiful I kid you not the baby was beautiful I would have got the baby if I had the funds but like I said it's the opportunity that only knocks once when it comes to these dolls so and I'm already obligated to another doll so I couldn't even mess with it but I would have if I had the money I sure would have and you guys look at this outfit on her. It's so stinking adorable. Oh my goodness. She looks so stinking adorable. And um, and so yeah, so the opportunity came, you guys. And she had posted a, for a boy willow, and the boy willow came up. She couldn't get it, you guys. Not because she didn't have the money. She couldn't get it because she didn't live in the US. She was heartbroken. She contacted me, and I was like, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry." And she she even she even told the the mommy, 
that she would pay more. She even suggested that she would pay more on that doll. And the lady would not sell it to her at all. And her heart was crushed. And that baby sold, you guys, within five minutes, that baby sold. And um, we spoke, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I and she said, I even told her, and I said, I've been there. I've been there. You guys get in this community, and um, sometimes people uh, say they're ready to sell, and they change their mind, and your heart is broken. It's like you, like I said, it's like you, you really adopting a real baby, you guys. And um, it's it's not it's it's not it's not fun to get your heart broken. And to feel like you you finally got you about to get something that you've been looking for, and then it turns it turns out that you can't you can't get it you can't get it. And I felt I felt it I felt her you know um, her pain I felt her pain I felt her her the disbelief that she has the money she's gonna pay more for the dog and she could not get it and she would not let her get it just because there's scams out here. And she did not live in the United States. She lives in the she lived in the UK. So that that mommy was scared because she probably been scammed before, and she didn't want to be scammed again. And she'd rather deal with somebody that's in the United States than to be dealing with way over there. And she would lose out her money, and um and that's vice versa. Um, there are um dog collectors owners that have babies that they sell out. And they will not sell to people in the U.S. So it does go back and forth. People do sell only to UK people in the U.K. and and people do some um, sell only to people in the United States. So that's some of the drawbacks. That's some of the um um the pros is getting uh, getting a, a baby that you are looking for with all the bells and whistles, you know that or not that you that you looking for in search of that in search of. Um, what do you look for? Um, um, that that's that's the pros, but the cons are um, being out of one of could be out of the United States, could be in the UK. You know, vice versa. Somebody in the UK won't sell to somebody in the United States. Somebody in the United States will not sell to somebody in the UK. So those pros and cons. The other pros and cons are um, you're not getting your doll um on time according to what the artist um um told you um that when the dog will be ready because sometimes there is a plethora of dogs that's come in that that artist may overbooked have overbooked um her dogs and so everything is backed up or had a family emergency so everything got backed up so those are the cons you know that make may may happen and then the and then the the but the pros of it is a lot of time it's worth the wait so so you know it's you know it's 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 all, overall you guys it's it's um you know like i said it's it's being at the right place for the right, the right time and you're going to be happy you know like i said you do your homework do your homework and you'll be totally happy on your doll, you know, that you get, you know, what you see, a lot of times what you get is what, what you see is what you get, you know, they, they don't really scan like that, they'll show you, you, you ask for, you ask for, um, 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 photos, you ask for videos, you ask for, um, um, security, security, um, um, picture, um, you know, have them, um, you take the picture of the doll, put your birthday on it, um, in front of the um, the baby, making sure that they have the baby. Um, you get references, you know, the um, um, references, um, if they ever sold to anybody, get references, you know, just, just, you know, it's, it's, it's best to be, it's best to be safe than sorry. You know, you guys, it's, it's always best to be safe, you know, and, um, um, and I, I say, I say that to all my, um, to all my, you know, viewers, you know, this, especially during the holidays, you know, high def, high def during the holidays, you know, and you want to be, you want to be really, um, um, aware, you know, of these scammers out here. Yeah. So she's gonna, um, I'm gonna put her, her bag back on her head and put a little moisture, a little moisture. She has small hair, so we want to keep her hair moist.
it's not messed up it's good but i just would like to keep it cover here with moisture and she has really nice hair she's been she was um she's been done by um uh rachel pharrell shell she is the clear tailor i pissed her ears the other day i have the video for that so if you want to um go back and watch that video of me pissing her ears you can but i want you to She has really curly hair here. I'll put this on. And then, like that. Because actually, it's not recommended on silicone babies to put hats. I'll be nice wrong. To put hats just because the hair will rub out. So, bow covers. Are some people use saran wrap, but I can't mess with a saran wrap because I mess up the whole row. So I get the bow covers, and you can find those bow covers at any um Dollar Tree. Yeah, at any Dollar Tree. Oh, look at her, you guys. She's so stinking cute. Oh my goodness mommy you're looking so cute now we're gonna have to give you some more of these little outfits look at her you guys she's so stinking cute <laughs> look at her yeah so yeah so that's just a little bit of the pros and cons of um getting a silicone or reborn or vinyl doll um in the community you know so it's just it's just a lot of times like i said that the um the trust your trust is is going to be tested um when it comes to buying you know that um must have doll so just keep that just be aware um that we live in we live in a time and a place you know that everybody's not nice Everybody is not trustworthy. Everybody, um, there's, it's, it's not honest aides running around here all day long selling, selling you, um, a, 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 a pocket full of posies. It's, <laughs> it's not, it's really not. So you guys just got to keep your eyes and ears open and, um, and be wise. And, um, when you do that, you guys are going to be happy with your guys' purchase you going to you going to say it's your forget forever baby you know you're going to you're going to be ecstatic you're going to be um you know it's going to be a you're going to be addicted you're definitely going to be addicted and um whether it be a silicone doll whether it be a vinyl doll whether it be a partial silicone um you're going to you're going to want more because it's they are beautiful inanimate objects um, and they just bring you, they just make you smile. And, um, the way our, the way the things that's going on in the world, um, we need something to make us smile. And, um, I tell you, these, these, these are definitely, these are definitely a win-win, you know, when it comes to collecting and you can, um, sell them back out and, um, and they do go up in value. So, um, um, it's, 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 they're just beautiful, and um, I think you guys will love them as well as I do. So that was um, I'll, um, I think I'll wrap that wrap it up. Let me see if I have time to do another video. But um, oh, let me see if I can find her a pacifier. Hold on, you guys. Let me see if I can find a pacifier for her. Uh, but I just love this outfit. Let me see if I can find a pacifier. Yeah, it's 
some of you guys like to um like to um and then just and then when you looking for when you're looking for the dolls you know like I say you go on they have they do sell reborn I mean vinyl dolls silicone dolls um I just went on there today on reborns.com and they have full body silicone on there um artists are selling I've seen it for um twenty five hundred for um a, a full body silicone so um you guys yeah you guys don't have to just go in the um doll community you guys can go on reborns.com is a good place eBay is a good place um um yeah just do your just just look around you guys um they're 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 out here you know these are the holidays and um people you know need need money to get gifts and art whether it be artists or you know people they just they're 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 trying to you know make things happen and um i think i think um you'll be happy to find you know what you're looking for at affordable at an affordable price you know because they're they're um i seen some cute dolls on there today because my friend just bought a full body silicone um off of there she did actually she did uh, actually she did a trade with the with the uh, lady that was selling on there she actually did a trade and um she got herself uh, a full body silicone and um with, and the, she, the lady didn't have, she had a doll, a vinyl doll for sale, and a high-end vinyl doll, matter of fact, beautiful doll. And um, the lady liked her doll, the artist liked her doll from Reborns.com, and um, she, 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 um, she uh, just brought up the, um, the fact that she said, you know, she inquired about her dog, her her um dog, cause she had it on dog and and then she inquired about it, but she said she don't have no money, you know, disposable cash, and um, she, the lady said she said she brought up that she could um, she would um, um, do a trade, so she brought up doing a trade, and that's what it was. They did a trade, so she sent her silicone doll. But it was a kit. It's not painted or anything. So she just, um, and it was a Ford, very affordable, like 1500 bucks, you guys. So it's a steal. But, um, and she got, and she paid, she paid 2000 for her vinyl doll. So she sent, and she just took a loss. She don't, she, she just didn't care. She really didn't care. She's, she's a sweetheart like that. So I have these two pacifiers and I want to see which one. This stuff is yellow. And then this is yellow yellow so oh, i don't know which one i think i'm thinking this one the yellow yellow that's for this one yeah i think this one is it so she didn't really want to you know um miss the opportunity because she's been having this particular doll up for oh, oh for sale a while and like she said it's been hard because of the holidays I mean, it's been hard because the sales been slow. Not because of the holidays, the sales has been slow. People, you know, are being wise about their money because we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring us. And so, um, with that being said, she looks so cute. So, with that being said, you guys, um, um, yeah. So, just be wise with your money and be safe, you guys. And um, I just pray everybody, body is well and um, keep it warm. And um, I don't not going out if you don't have to because of the COVID. It's so the Rona um, is 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 trying to you know trying to kick up again a little bit. And um, so you guys just wear your mask and be safe and sanitize whenever you can. And um, come back and see me again. And um, and um, keep um how I normally end. Keep our heavenly Father first in your life and and everything will be handed to you and um because he may not come when you want him but let me tell you he is always on time and with that being said thank you everyone 
for stopping by and and watching and listening and being um being um uh giving some um some um what will I say? Give us some some good information. Yeah, give us some some information, some good information on um especially if, um if you're new in the community and you're looking for that that perfect doll. And if you're look and if you're if you if your if your hubby or your boyfriend is 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 ask, is telling you that you could get that doll you want for for your holiday, um I recommend silicone. I recommend you I don't know what 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 the budget that he may or your husband may or your boyfriend may have given you but ladies I my first my first was a partial and my partial is up for sale right now the Ashby kit by Claire Taylor Dolls he's up for sale and I love him to death but once you get a partial you want the the full, so just to just to get yourself familiarized, and if you're not sure, but if you're not paying for it, I will go straight straight for the full body. But if you're not, you're not. Um, he's only giving you a limit on the amount that you could buy. Go with the partial silicone, um, and then you'll see if you want if you like the partial silicone as to a full body, or if you like the um, Reborn because with to me, um, the vinyl a vinyl doll, it's like a partial doll. So, but it's like the boast of both worlds. You're getting that cloth body, that like the vinyl doll. You're getting that you have the cloth body, so you're getting the both of both both worlds to me. But because like a vinyl doll, um, a vinyl doll you can is posable as in a partial is more posable than a um a full body silicone because full body silicones. Are, you know they're weighty they're very weighty they feel like real babies and so that's the that's the difference between that 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 could be a pro or a con you know depending on especially if you have back problems like myself so and another thing you want to check the weight and the length of the baby to and to make sure to and to see if um if you have any back problems so um that's um uh, that could be um a um uh uh, a con if you um the baby might be too heavy for you so make sure when you're you're looking for that must have baby make sure you 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 you're checking on the weight as what as far as the length and then you want to know what size clothing that that baby wears so those are um other things to look for in your must haves for that baby um and um other than that you know um good luck good luck and um Happy, happy searching, you know, happy searching and, and, and for that, that perfect must have baby, you know, I, I wish you guys the, the best, all the best. And I pray you guys, um, find what you're looking for and, um, and join us in the beautiful dog community. There's beautiful women here. Most of the women are very righteous women. They're very, uh, religious women and, um, they're, they're, um, they're, they're a friend indeed. Um, and you won't just, um. You won't just buy that doll. You will have um, a relationship with that um, that artist or that sculptor um, because you 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 put you 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 adopted something that they put their 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 heart um, 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 their sweat you know their 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 sweat and their blood into it because it's a, it's, a, it's a piece of art you know and it means a lot to them when they when you buy. They're piece these are pieces of art when you uh when you put uh and you like and you're attracted to their work it's an honor it's a, it's a blessing that um, um people um are drawn to these works of art and they appreciate that and a lot of times you um even or even with the collector may, may maybe not with the artist for say but with what if you get your doll from another collector if you if you um, adopt from a collector that previously had the doll and not the artist, you, you'll have that. A lot of times people stay in touch with that, with that, um, um, particular person. Um, you know, it's like a sisterhood. We have sisterhoods in the doc community and, um, it's a beautiful thing. I love it. I'm so glad that I, I got into this hobby. Um, I don't know how long 
it, I will be in the hobby as far as buying, but um, I do have my my favorites. I do have my um, my forever baby and um, this pretty beautiful girl, um, <laughs> Willow Natalia. She is a forever baby. Um, when I brought her home, I cried. I never thought I would afford her. And I was at the right place at the right time. And I asked, um, and she was, it was not available when I did ask for her, but she became available because I, because I asked for, her, um, inquired about her. So you guys, when you guys see something, follow, follow the artist, follow the, the sculptor. When you guys see something, follow that particular person. Um, so that you, whatever you, um, like, you'll be, um, at the right place at the right time. And that will be, um, being at the right place at the right time. It will be a pro. Definitely not a con. It will be a pro because, uh, when the opportunity knocks, sometimes only one time, and you're at the right place at the right time. You're going to be happy and you're going to have that box opening and you might become a YouTuber like myself. <laughs> so, um, you guys just stay blessed, stay prayed up and put our Heavenly Father, Yahuwah first and all things will be added to you. And thank you everyone. And I'm going to let you guys go because I got to get out of here and, and um, go to my mother's house. And um, thank you all and, and to all a good night. Bye for now. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.